It's time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune and do we have a good one. It's May 3rd and we have seen Ether go on a massive spike. We've been following Ether all week, been in this big triangle, broke out of it. Then I swung Ether up in this area and since then it has just exploded. I have been locking out profits all along the way. You can see my sell orders here. I bought two days ago, locking it out multiple areas every time we come up to resistance and I still have a little bit left there so at this point I'm just letting it run until we see some type of pullback because there's not really been a pullback on the four hour chart so don't let FOMO the fear of missing out get you in trouble and jump in either just because it's running like this there will be a pullback at some point and you'll have your chance to get in if you're looking for a swing or long-term hold but buying right now in this pretty big spike i mean this is almost a 600 dollars spike it's probably not a good idea to buy at the top as you can see because i am selling every time we get to a top and so are other people all around the globe so you got to keep that in mind supply and demand at some point we're going to hit an area where a lot of people cannot resist selling next we have medic medic broke out of the original triangle still consolidating sideways actually making a big triangle here a big flag so as long as this support area holds up around the 75 cent area trying to build a little bit at 78 cents and we start to see a move back up and break of this triangle we could see matic up to a dollar and if it breaks below 75 cents there's a good possibility of seeing it back down at 50 cents so you do want to try to have your stop losses pretty close in case this does crack to the downside out of this triangle but right now it's fine it's just consolidating sideways nicely. Litecoin, because Ethereum is running so hard and probably because Bitcoin is trying to break out, we are seeing Litecoin break out here. We were watching for this resistance to break. It made a nice little curl up. And now you can see Litecoin breaking 275, testing this $300 area. It's starting to consolidate under $3. If it can consolidate and make another one of these little U-shaped patterns back up to $300, then I expect this to break over $300 here in the next day or two, maybe even tonight. And of course, Dogecoin, the unstoppable coin of the internet this thing broke out of its triangle and is almost up to new highs it is literally less than a penny away from breaking out over new highs as i'm recording this if it doesn't break for a new high within the next four to eight hours i would say that it'll come back down but if it does push for a new high that 50 cent area like i've been saying and then from there we'll see if it can get any higher than that waves one of the top stories of this week that has kept running and running and running has now made another huge leg up from 24 to 37 you take a look at the five minute we do have a big triangle forming there's this little support line right across here that is holding up so very shortly probably by the time you guys are seeing this waves is going to have a pullback and it'll probably be a pretty strong pullback or it's going to break up out of this descending triangle and start moving its way up again dash we were watching for this breakout it did get a nice breakout very volatile coin because there is a low circulating supply so you can see today it has just been pushing and pushing up to new highs around 343 now in 2018 this did get all the way up to 1700 so there is a possibility we could see dash go insane but looking way back here on the chart this past history there is some strong resistance at the current area that we are at but we are above it so if we can hold above 342 maybe for a day or two or if this continues to run then we could see it up to the next major resistance area of 500 525 volume has been picking up massively over the last couple of weeks on dash so it could be spurred for a nice huge run this is starting to overall look like a big triangle for another breakout so as long as this trend line can hold on the one day i will continue to hold dash i do hold dash in voyager which earns me interest so these are the times when you can make a lot of money with these cryptos when you're getting big moves up and earning that interest on the crypto for holding it in your wallet OKB okay, was yesterday's story, but as you can see, it never could break up out of the downtrend. It has started to break out today, 
on the five minute here just recently. So if that can hold and maybe get back above 40, you could see OKB climb back to that 45 cent area and maybe move go on another run. Looking at it on the daily, it is getting held up currently at this old support where these candles held up. So that is now new resistance, so it needs to break over 40 to continue its bull run. I'm pretty weary of this coin still at the moment because of how massive of a move it made. And it is holding up. It could continue its run just like everything else we're seeing right now. It is a hot market. Bitcoin, however, is not doing quite as well as the other cryptos at the moment. This downtrend has been confirmed because of this pivot point, which happened today. And on the four hour, we can see Bitcoin is currently testing the support at this 57 level. If it can hold up there, then we could see it break out of this triangle with a nice curl up. If it doesn't hold this area, we're going to be dropping back down probably to that 53,000. But volume is still pretty strong. You can see where volume has decreased kind of today on Bitcoin. So it might be a struggle for this to finally break over this downtrend. It might be a week or so. Uh, especially if people are getting more interested in Ethereum because Ethereum is breaking out. And if there's any coins or tokens that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you're enjoying the long form content or the one minute short videos or if you'd like a mix of both. It's up to you guys how you want to receive the information. I can do it either way. Any way works for me. Appreciate you guys joining me as always, and we'll be back tomorrow for another daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. Till then.